stacked up. Double kill, and that was a fast double kill. I think we're going to deal some really good damage now. Point blank, right onto them. Or else the damage will not register. There we go, double kill, we killed... We are going to make this Super Natasha great again. We're going to try two different builds. The Sonic build, which is very deadly up close, and the Snare Hell build. We only have one passive module, so we're going to try it out. Pilot skills are loaded to the max. Let's get into a game and let's kill some robots with the Natasha. Alrighty, we are in on Shenzhen. I guess we're going to drop this thing first. Let's drop this thing first with our snare in hell so we do have that 600 meter range which i think is gonna be pretty helpful because we do not have a last stand Ooh. we do have some built-in drone shielding that will get activated when we lose a certain amount of hp but we have no phase shift no last stand so we're pretty vulnerable to be honest Ooh, there we go whoa we're... what why is he down i don't know what that thing is but we are cooking him is it a blitz there we go there's one kill and, on a plus side, our nuke amplifier is up to 14 already. If I had three passive module slots, which I think the attachment should have, I would have run a double nuke amplifier, but we only have one. So we gotta deal with it. We gotta deal with it, man. Come on, we can kill this guy. Ah! He just went into stealth before we could... heal him. Double kill, man. Our damage is building and we're getting kills. The Natasha has the same firepower as a Hawk, which is a lot of firepower. It just doesn't have the Hawk ability, which is kind of a big deal. But the Hawk's cooler than the... Or the Natasha's cooler than the Hawk. I don't know what that guy's in, but we were dealing some damage. Okay, my teammate took that guy out. There's no way they're mecking it already. Yeah, here... Okay, now they're dropping it. It looks like they've all dropped in on that far beacon, which is a bit interesting. I assume they're eventually going to push into center or into our home. See, I'm happy with shooting from this distance just because we're still building up our nuke amplifier. So by the time we get to 80, I think we're going to be dealing some serious freezical slushy damage. I'm saying that because these weapons are like lightning freeze. Freezies. Okay, that's a revenant. That's gonna be a little bit more difficult. I'm pretty sure this guy tried to use a username that didn't register, so now he's just all question marks. Okay, let's go mantis shielding. We are suppressed. We have no anti-control because we do not have enough passive module slots. Come on, we're gonna keep stacking up this damage. There we go. 50, 58. We're at 58. Oh, this hawk. Oh, maybe. Okay, that was a pretty dumb move by that hawk. He just dropped in in the middle of the battlefield. That's something you gotta worry about. Stupid hawk. Come on. Oh, he's healing. There we go. Kill. Another kill. We are at 80. Our nuke amplifier is at 80. Our damage is ready to go. Stacked up. Double kill. And that was a fast double kill. I think we're gonna deal some really good damage now. We have that boost. We have the boost. I know I was using the overdrives for a long time instead of the new amplifier, but not having to sacrifice HP like you do with the overdrive is very, very helpful. Here is a... That's the shovel. I'm looking at the other guy, though. Oh, we kind of glitched out there. Oh, we teleported. That's why. He teleported. That is why... This shell bot in the center. I think we broke some of his shielding. Oh, they're pushing up this left side too, though. Oh, this is going to be tough. That is a kid bot. Man, if we could hang in there and deal more damage to that kid Titan, then I think we could eventually take him out, but we do not. And we're going to die. We are going to die. Ah, We got like, what, four or five kills there? We got to stop this guy from getting our home. This guy's going to turn around and realize that he is in a predicament. Sorry, beef jerky boy. You're out of here. Portable, microwavable, 
hot dog pizza pocket. Come on. See you later, man. No chance. That, that guy never had a chance. Okay, there's two titans here. Oh, there's three titans. If we can try to isolate them, okay, this is what we kind of want. We kind of want to take them out one at take them out one at a time. Is it they shoot at us all at once? Here we go. Bo 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 bo. Titan Slayer. We just chewed that guy up. Is this guy a Minos? Oh, he's almost dead. He's a Minos, but he's almost dead. There we go. Titan Slayer. Okay, now the enemy team might be mecking out for real. We've had like a 4 or 5 cap most of the game now. Capturing beacon. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we got a 5 cap. I'm going to go ahead and say we got a pretty good handle on this game considering they have one player left. The Luchador is, all, is one of those robots where I don't understand how or why Pixonic release it in this state it just seems way too overpowered it is crazy firepower titan slayer there we go it has so much durability oh just would have killed that Orochi too and on top of all that it has like two abilities why why okay, let's see what kind of damage we're gonna do one more game now let's switch to the sonic build 3.8 million let's jump into a game and i'll switch it up here we go one more game Okay, valley map, here we go. Let's hand out some smack Donalds, man. Okay, this build I think is gonna be a lot more difficult to, to use than that last build, because you know with the snare in the hell, you have a 600 meter range. With this, you got 200 meters. And not just that, it's still a lot of firepower. It's just, you have to get within 200 meters. And then these days they can use a phase ship, they can use healing, they have drone shielding. They have cloaking units that can help them deal damage to us. Oh, there we go. We kinda, I don't know if we stole that kill or not, but we got the kill, man. Oh, that guy didn't walk through. I'm a little worried about Orochis because when they go in their stealth, we cannot do a single thing about it and they can just chew away at our health. If these guys are really a doctor in real life, it's kind of lame. Is putting his Dr. H. Jekyll. Like, if these guys are really a doctor in real life, who puts their name for their IGN? I'm Dr. J. Jekyll. Or H. Jekyll. I'm not going to lose because I'm the leader. We're going to kill this guy. Boom! I guess I'm the doctor now! Okay, there we go. Um, okay, let's... I'm kind of nervous here. See, it's going to take forever to build up our nuclear amplifier as well. We're at 17 right now. And just engaging with enemies is so risky because if they go into stealth or use some kind of ability, they can just take out our whole robot with... Oh, we didn't get that kill? Come on, man. Come on. There he is. There's the doctor again. Oh, that's actually pretty not ironic. He's running a tier, and he, his name is Doctor. So maybe he's a doctor in the game. Maybe. Ramen Noodles? That is the best name I've seen all year. Ramen Noodles. Let's go after Ramen. Oh, we can't. He's too far away. What about this guy? Is this the doctor again? Let's kill the doctor again. Oh, come on. That's the one thing about Sonic Weapons. You have to aim so directly on the enemy. There's a kill. Or the damage doesn't register. Like, it has to be point blank right onto them. Or else the damage will not register. There we go. Double kill. We killed the doctor again. Sorry, doctor. Doctor. What are you, a doctor? Um, okay, this is a bit risky. That's why it's risky, because this shellbot can deal some damage to us. Last in triggered. Oh! Oh no, we definitely could have killed that shellbot, but now we gotta... Oh, screw this guy. 
Oh, you smelly ramen, ramen noodle broccoli. Alright. We did our best with that Natasha build, but man, it is just so difficult to stay alive for a long time. Or stay alive long enough to get like a godlike with the Natasha. Up close, anyways. Because you're sacrificing your HP to deal damage. And you can't get that great damage back unless you've got a friendly neighborhood mender. Kill, there we go. This guy is pushing. Who's this guy? Is this Ramen Noodle? No, this is Iron Maiden. Die, you bloated cheeseburger. You have four guys shooting at him? Okay, I'm assuming someone can take him out. Am I, am I going to have to be that someone? Yes, there we go. Titan Slayer. Triple kill. Okay, last hand triggered, but our last hand is triggered as well. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it. I'm going to drop down, but I don't think we're going to make it. Ah. Did we kill him? I don't know if we killed him or not. I don't know if we killed that guy or not, but he definitely killed us. Here. Let's teleport over here and let's just get in the middle of it and start brawling our heads off. Not exactly the target we wanted, but there's no other way. I am vengeance. Okay, okay, okay. We're in the middle of a luchador war here. And if you didn't get that reference, I am vengeance. It's from the new Batman trailer. Come on! I hate when it doesn't even look like we're dealing any damage. Okay, my teammate took him out. The worst is when you're just firing and holding down the firing button onto an enemy. And they're ha you're dealing such little damage to them. Or maybe you're dealing a lot, but it looks like so little because they either have resistance or a ton of durability. And their, bar their health bar doesn't even move. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, this guy's running like Weber. Yes, there we go. Kill. Kill, kill. Okay, they are just about done. They aren't even mecking out, and we're just toasting them. That is kind of surprising. For having six players, you'd think they'd be a little bit more aggressive and try to push beacons. But that's going to wrap it up. The Natasha, one of my favorite old school robots, still usable. It's getting more difficult, to be honest. But that one build in the last game worked better. Four million damage, not bad. Next time, peace. Shout out to Ramen Noodles. You got the best name ever.